Very early on Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and several other women went to the tomb where Jesus had been placed after his death on the cross. They took spices they had prepared for his burial. When they arrived, they found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. Look, it's been opened! So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. Where is Jesus? As they stood there, puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. Oh! oh. The women were terrified and bowed with their faces to the ground. Then the men asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day? Then they remembered that he said this. Yes, that's right. Jesus told us. Hurry, let's go tell the disciples. Chum, 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 chum. Mm, so good. Chum, chum, chum. So they rushed back from the tomb to tell 11 disciples and everyone else what had happened. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. Jesus asked them, What are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their face. Then one of them, Cleopas, replied, You must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened there in the last few days. What things? The things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth. He was a prophet who did powerful miracles, and he was a mighty teacher in the eyes of God and all people. But our leading priests and other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. We had hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then some women from our group of his followers were at his tomb earlier this morning and they came back with an amazing report. They said his body was missing, and they had seen angels who told them, Jesus is alive. Some of the men ran out to see the, and sure enough, his body was gone, just as the woman had said. You foolish people. You find it so hard to believe that all the prophets wrote in the scriptures, wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing Emmaus and the end of their journey. Jesus acted as if he were going on, but they begged him, Stay the night with us, since it is getting late. So he went home with them. As they sat down to eat, he took the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. We give thanks to you. Suddenly their eyes were open and they recognized him. At that moment, he disappeared. Oh, it's Jesus! Did our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? The Lord has risen indeed. And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. 
There they found the eleven disciples and the others who had gathered with them. During the 40 days after Jesus suffered and died, he appealed to the apostles from time to time. And he proved to them in many ways that he was actually alive. And he talked to them about the kingdom of God. Once when he was eating with them, he commanded them. Do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift he promised. As I told you before, John baptized with water, but in just a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Right. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking, Lord, has the time come for you to flee Israel and restore our kingdom? The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times. They are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be many witnesses telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. Wow, wow there, there he goes. goes. Look at that. As the stranger see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, why are you standing here, staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. We have to share. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives. Let's go right away. Let's go back, Let's go back, back to, to Jerusalem, Jerusalem and tell everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Chomp, 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 chomp. Mm, so good. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, chomp. Here, what's this one? Oh, that's even better. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh! Okay, I'm full. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh!